Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Indicator. I'm at Lapinke, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that there is Binance thought in the air. Again, you can read about it all over Twitter, but a little bit, let's look behind it, how serious it could be. Then the second news is also about the Binance because it, the Binance US partnered up with MoonPay. And now with this partnership, you can uh, again get your USD, so US dollar on Binance uh, US, uh, what you couldn't do basically in the last two months. And then we have Jerome Powell talking this Friday again in Jackson Hole. And uh, he can move the market, of course, again. As all the time he, he talks, uh, he has an impact on the market. So guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, every single day, I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. So simply subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe bell button all, and then you will get the freshest every single day. You won't miss a thing. And uh, also, if you like this kind of content what I'm creating, then subscribe and like this video. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, and now let's have a look at the market where we can see that Bitcoin is actually down 0.8%, uh, Ethereum up 1.5%. So, sideway movements, Bitcoin 25,832, Y Ethereum 1,637 US dollar. The top mover today in the top 100 is Astra up almost 9%, DYDX 3.7 uh, and Near Protocol 3.3. When we're looking at the losers, Maker is 77 down, white torch in 5.6 and header of 5.5 about. When we're looking at here, the candlestick chart, you know, we did talk about a lot about it, especially at the beginning of the week. Nothing has changed. As you can see, this huge wicks at the bottom of the candle, it shows that the uh, bulls always pushing, pushing back here, holding around here at 26,000-ish. Now again, uh, just end of 25,000. When we're looking at the RSI, it's still over uh, sold. You know, um, it, the biggest drop in the RSI here on the daily um, since uh, the pandemic. Uh, yeah. So, but we're going to see what's going to happen. Maybe on Friday when Jerome Powell is talking. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the first topic. And the first topic is all about this Binance Squad. You know. I guess you're sick and tired because you, you have heard so many uh, Binance FUD recently. It's always FUD in the air when it comes to Binance. Uh, let's talk about this one. So actually, CZ came out and he did talk about uh, it. And uh, at the end of the day, it looks like everything is now uh, fine. Of course, you could never be 100% sure. Therefore, bottom line is, if you worry about these kind of funds, about the Binance, about other centralized exchanges, then simply just do not keep your crypto on centralized exchanges. Simple as that. Even Binance is saying that, that if you're trading, okay, you, you have it there, but don't store it on a centralized exchange. This is very, very important. But actually, uh, apart uh, from that, the CZ said everything is cool and they don't have any loans and they are the biggest uh, uh, in the market and so on and so forth. When we're looking at here, for example, um, Binance Wallet, then, you know, because uh, these are totally transparent things, uh, this Bitcoin one, you can see it's coming Bitcoin in and out, in and out, you know, no massive moves, no massive sell-offs and all these kind of things. You know, it's uh, some, uh, they're, they're got into this, you know, 700 Bitcoin in, 600 in. Then we have here uh, a couple of hundred set out. And then again, in, out, in, out. You know, look at here, and this is just the 23rd, right? We're talking about today here. So it's quite, quite active address what we have here. Uh, when we're looking at uh, BNB coin, you know, um, Check it out. It eight and a half percent down in seven days, 2.1 percent up in the last 24 hours. So, actually, if you're looking at these uh, top uh, coins, Binance is doing better than Bitcoin, than Ethereum right now, uh, better than XRP, and so on and so forth. Um, so, no major signs of kind of panic, uh, but. When it comes to Binance, recently there's a lot of lot of thought coming out, but at the end of the day, it's always uh, the same that it was nothing. But it's very important that you never know when 
any of the funds become real. Therefore, do not risk your crypto savings. Do not store your crypto on centralized exchanges. I'm not talking about Binance. I've personally no problem with Binance. We still use Binance. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's still okay. But register to many exchanges if something happening uh, with Binance or with others so you have more opportunities. And simply just do not store your crypto there. If you want to buy some, then use your hardware wallet, send some, uh, you know, stable coin or whatever you would like to uh, swap uh, to, to Bitcoin or whatever you want to buy. And uh, yeah, just simply do it. And then straight away, send it back to your hardware wallet. And then uh, this is the safest. And they, you can ignore this flood. Doesn't matter what happens. If once it becomes true, it definitely will push down the price of crypto. At the end of the day, it won't kill Bitcoin, so probably you can get Bitcoin uh, cheaper than before it. That's the only thing you can use it for. Okay, uh, second thing is about Binance as well, because uh, as you might remember, uh, Binance US has been working as a crypto-only platform really in the last two months, but now because of the MoonPay partnership, you can actually put your uh, US dollar on uh, Binance US again. Well, Binance US partners up with MoonPay, and this is an alternative as a USD uh, on ramp. And, uh, you know, uh, two months after becoming a crypto only platform, Binance US has announced a new partnership with crypto payment firm MoonPay to allow users to buy US dollar pack stablecoin Tether to use on its platform. And uh, the crypto exchange announced it on the 22nd of August, so yesterday, that USDT was uh, being adopted as a new base asset for all transactions. And its partnership with Moonpay allows a path for users to transact in US dollar. So this is very, very important because recently it was really a crypto-only platform and this is not healthy, definitely. It's still not the solution, you know, uh, with, 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 with banks, so you cannot deposit through a bank. Uh, that's still not working, but at least uh, it's something. There we have a fiat on-ramp uh, with MoonPay right now. Okay, and now let's move on to the third topic. And the third topic is that Jerome Powell is going to speak again, actually, on this Friday. So Jerome Powell is going to speak again this Friday, uh, you know, uh, the Fed's summer gathering at Jackson Hole. And, uh, well, definitely they're going to focus on rate hikes. And, again, it depends, is he hawkish or dovish, that uh, he's going to say that, yes, we're going to push the rate hikes, we're fighting still hard against inflation and all these kind of news, because this is definitely bearish for the market. On the other hand, when he is more dovish, saying that, okay, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel or all this, something like this, uh, he's always very careful how he, 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 he phrase his sentences. But anyway, if you get any clue that maybe, maybe, there is some hope out there for uh, pause and then rate uh, to, to decrease the rate. Then definitely, it's it's, it's good for, for for the liquid market, stock market, crypto market, and so on and so forth. When we're looking at uh, next month's uh, FOMC meeting, then uh, now it's eighty six percent that the Fed going to increase the interest rates by twenty five percent at the end of the meeting, or thirteen percent that they will actually increase it by. Uh, 50 basis points. Uh, and yeah, again, what is he saying on Friday can move the market if he just saying the usual things what he just said uh, recently, probably it is priced in. So we're looking for something, something he will spice it up. Will he? Good question. We're going to see it from Friday anyway. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget every single day you're getting the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom. So do not miss a single thing. Simply just subscribe and then uh, you will stay up to date. And if you subscribe and like the content that I'm creating, just hit the like button. Highly appreciate it. It helps the video and helps the channel as well. See you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye -bye.